Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd show you some of my favorite drugstore lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. Um, some of these are newer launches and so I'm excited to show you guys. Last time I showed you guys some of my favorite higher end lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and I'll put that up in the cards here or here. I'm not sure which side it's gonna appear, but you can click on that to watch that video. If you're new here, Welcome, consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos once a week. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. All right, so the first lipstick that I wanna try on for you guys is from ColourPop. And this is in the color overlay and it looks like this. And I'll show you guys the lipstick. Uh, it's well loved. I use it a lot. It's actually one of my all time favorite nudie pink lipsticks. Um, I really love it because it's nice and creamy. It's comfortable on the lips. And also the color is one of my favorite colors. So it has that pinky kind of nudie brown color. On their website, it's described as a medium rosy beige color. So this is ColourPop's Cream Luxe Lipstick uh, Formula. And so it's very creamy, smooth, very affordable, and I love this formula. Next liquid lipstick that I want to talk about is the NYX Lingerie Lipstick. I love the formula of this liquid lipstick. I love the applicator. It's kind of like a, like a flat paddle. In a way. The best way I can describe this liquid lipstick is it feels velvety smooth. It can be a little bit drying on the lips because most matte liquid lipsticks are pretty drying on the lips. But if you prep your lips, moisturize, put some lip balm, and then go in with this, it's going to be fine. What I like about this formula is it's kiss proof without it being too dry on the lips, which means it's gonna be long wearing. Um, you can go to special locations and not have to worry about, you know, transferring the lipstick on their face. And also it wears off nicely. I've had this um, all day to where I ate um, hot dogs and all sorts of foods and drinks and it still looked good at the end of the day. I mean, of course it does wear off and it took much longer for it to wear off than normal lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, but it looked nice on the skin. Kind of leaves your lips with a stain, a very light stain at the end of the day or after eating. One of the other reasons that drew me to this uh, lipstick is the color. So the color is Lipley number 12. This is what the lipstick packaging looks like, by the way. Claims to have a plush matte finish. It's funny that it doesn't say on the website that it is kiss proof um, because to me, once it fully dried down, it was pretty much kiss proof. I have it on now. I love the color of this. Kind of like a brownie red, like a muted red um, or a brownish raspberry color. So right now I can kind of feel it drying down. It kind of feels like it's not gonna be comfortable on the lips, but the moment I smack my lips together, moisture kind of comes back into the lips, which is interesting. Um, it kind of resets the lips and makes it feel comfortable again. It has a good variety of colors. Now they came out with 12 brand new uh, nude shades, which is good for anyone, any skin tone, light to, fair to dark skin tones. And so I think there's something for everybody. So highly suggest checking out the NYX lingerie. I, it's not a new formula. It's not a new line of lipsticks from NYX, but it's really worth trying out and exploring this line of lipstick. The next one is the CoverGirl lipstick. So you might've noticed that CoverGirl has come out with a line of um, makeup that has this white packaging right here. Actually, I've been trying out their BB cream and so far so good. It's a mattifying BB cream. I use it on a daily basis, very affordable. It's a BB cream, but with high coverage. But anyway, back to the lipstick. This is CoverGirl's Outlast All Day Lip Color. And I have mine in the shade 626. I should have 
then the uh, NYX lingerie last because the color literally won't come off <laughs> and so first of all the claims are it's gonna last all day very long wearing liquid lipstick and I can definitely tell you that that's true so this is what the packaging looks like right there so the doe foot applicator looks like this it claims to last 24 hours but I think that only works if you're not eating, you're not drinking, you're not doing anything with your lips. It claims to be transfer resistant and it comes with this moisturizing top coat. So when you initially put this, you're going to feel that it's pretty drying. But this one saves the day and makes it feel comfortable. So I like the combination of the two. I love the color. It's kind of like a brownie nude color with a hint, very hint of orange so it's a very warm brown so the covergirl lipstick has 27 different shades so there's a color for everyone the formula is great it wears down nicely especially if you don't eat um and the lip gloss which looks like this you know it's pretty much clear and transparent it is um, very moisturizing on the lips the moment you apply it you feel that instant moisture I highly recommend this. This is a newer line of um, lipsticks from CoverGirl. So the next liquid lipstick is by L'Oreal. This is their Rouge Signature line of liquid lipsticks. The claims are for this liquid lipstick is that it has a bare lip sensation, which means um, that it's very lightweight, less texture, but high pigmentation. It's more so like a stain. If I'm going to buy a lipstick or liquid lipstick, I need it to have color. But this is probably as light as I'm going to get as far as pigmentation. It's perfect for no makeup makeup days. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very fancy looking, which I like. Um, and then there's the doe foot applicator, which kind of looks like very similar to the YSL liquid lipstick applicator. So it has that sharp pointy tip at the end. It feels very comfortable. So here's the story. When I first bought it, it felt like water on your lips. I thought that the product was used or just ruined when I first felt it on my lips. So I immediately returned it got another one in two different colors and I tried them again and it still felt like water on your lips. So it's a very, very unique sensation. I highly recommend you guys trying this because it's nothing like I've ever um, tried before. It can wear off easily, but it is really perfect for the summer where you feel like you just want a slight color on the lips. It feels moisturizing when you first apply it, but it does dry down to a matte finish. I think this is a very good brownie nude color for myself, even though it's not really highly pigmented. It is pigmented enough to where it covers the lines, that dark line around my lips, being that I have a medium skin tone. And that's how I decide whether I like the lipstick color or the lipstick formula is whether it can cover that dark line, kind of like an outline around my lips. Try this line of lipstick. It has fancy packaging, really cute, good formula for those light makeup days. Last two lipsticks that I have are both from Maybelline. So out of all the drugstore brands that I've tried, I feel like Maybelline is the brand that has come out with really good quality lipsticks consistently this lipstick is not really a new formula the color that i have is nude nuance and so i really really like this color kind of pinky nude or mauvey nude color on my lips though it looks more of a brownie nude color it's comfortable but it has a matte finish another favorite of mine is the color Touch of Spice, I think it's a favorite for many people. It's a very comfortable matte finish. And so I love the formula. It doesn't feel drying. It feels creamy. It's long wearing and full of pigmentation. Highly recommend this product by Maybelline. So Maybelline recently came out with a 
a line of lipsticks that they claim to be made for all lipsticks. So, so they have seven shades and they claim that all of those seven shades are going to work for any type of um, skin tone. It's a pretty bold claim because depending on your skin tone, it's usually hard to find that perfect red, that perfect pink, that perfect nude color that you want for yourself. And so they're saying that they've come up with seven colors that's gonna work for anybody. I kind of tested that claim a little bit. This one, I decided to keep the Mob For Me color number 373. Now, first of all, mauve colors aren't the colors that I gravitate towards because lipsticks that are kind of on the purple side, like a hint of purple or anything like that, aren't very flattering for my skin tone. It has become my all-time favorite pinky mauve shade and it has a great formula. It's very soft on the lips. It's highly pigmented. Um, depending on the type of color, it has satin to matte finishes. This one, the mob for me, I believe is a kind of a satin finish, not entirely matte, but you can kind of see how it's kind of like a purpley pink that usually doesn't work for me, but it is actually flattering on my skin tone. I have it on now and it's more of a pinky um, brownie color on me which I really like. It has a satin finish. It feels comfortable on the lips. It's long wearing. They have an interesting name to it. This one is mauve for me, red for me, nude for me, pink for me. Definitely want to try the pink for me next time because I don't really wear bright pink or just pink in general. I always want it to be kind of toned down a bit and so for me for a pink to kind of work on my skin tone and if that works you know then definitely Maybelline you have done it for sure. I actually bought the Fuchsia for me lipstick and I quickly realized that it was an exact dupe for MAC's um, Moxie, Marvelous Moxie lipstick, something like it's that. It's a very you know like Fuchsia color and because I already had the MAC version, I didn't want to keep the other, the Maybelline one. But if I ran out of the MAC one, I would definitely go out and purchase the Maybelline Made For Me um, Fuchsia color. Again, that bright pink color isn't really what I gravitate towards on a day-to-day -day basis, but it worked. I think that would have been great for the summertime. Definitely give it a try. Maybelline's line of made for all lipstick. They just broke it down into seven colors. You need a red, this is your red, you know, kind of thing. You need a pink, this is your pink. No matter whether you're fair skin or dark skin or tan skin, um, that's the color for everyone. So it takes out the guessing game. It takes out all of the <laughs> trial and error that you have to go to in finding the color that matches you. So, so that's it guys. Thumbs up this video if you liked it or learned something. Um, all of the products that I've mentioned are in the description box below so check that out. Also comment down below what your favorite liquid lipstick or lipstick from the drugstore is. It would really help me out. Um, and share this video to someone who might be looking for a lipstick from the drugstore. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hope to see you back in my corner soon. Bye!